Hey guys, how are you? I hope you don't mind, but I have something on my heart and I hope you don't mind if I get a little bit serious on you. So we started our YouTube channel about nine, I'm sorry. So we started our YouTube channel in, what year was it? Um, I don't know, 2009, 2010. Actually, maybe a little bit after that. And initially, you know, we really just wanted to, to tell the story of our family because what was on my heart was the children that are out there without parents. Children internationally with 163 million orphans, um, but also kids that are in foster care, kids that have never had a family. And of course, I talk about do adoption. I try to keep it light. I try to just really show you and show people out there what it's like to have a family like mine um, of children from all over the world or a family like mine that's um, children of different races and colors, children like mine that were adopted when they were older, um, and to see the nuances and the joy of what it looks like to have this amazing family that we have. So, you know, life kind, kind of gets in the way. You get really busy. I've been very busy for the past couple of years because I know a lot of you could relate. We went through a spell where we weren't making hardly any money. I want to do videos. I want to do them as much as possible, but we need to, you know, provide for our family. So I have a work at home job that's incredible that I'm constantly um, loving and learning more about. And by the way, if any of you are interested, and this is just a side note, this is not the purpose of the video, just look in the description because I'll put a link to um, a way that you can learn more about what we do. But in the meantime, I'm really getting back to my roots and back to the purpose of what I started the blog, um, the blog and the videos for in the first place. So recently, and it's been ongoing like for a few years that I will, I'm very aware that many of you who are watching this are foster kids who maybe not, maybe don't have a family or people like myself who are interested in adopting that you know, just don't know what to do or how to do it. And then other people who are just fascinated with, you know, the entertainment of our family. So oftentimes I will get notes from people and I want to dedicate this video to those of you out there who are still waiting for a family, especially those who are considered older children who have been bounced around in foster care, who have struggled trying to find a family and I want to let you know, because I think it's important for you guys to hear that it's not your fault that you don't have a family. And I want that to sink in because I get emails all the time with people thinking that they're bad kids. Any mistake that they make, they think that, oh my gosh, you know, I did this or that, so that makes me a bad kid, so I don't deserve a family. All kids do things, all adults do things, and you deserve grace and love. And the other thing I want you to know is that I'm sorry. I'm really sorry that you are still waiting. I'm really sorry that some of you feel like your prayers have not gone answered and you don't have a family. And I try to answer your emails. I try to answer, you know, your, your questions. I would love to be able to be the answer, but I'm not. And the best advice I can give to you is to really delve into your self-worth and who you are, knowing that you are amazing in spite of your past, you are amazing in spite of what has happened to you, and that you do deserve a family. Now, the one thing that I can tell you is that not all of you are going to get a family, not in the traditional way. You may, you know, be getting older and somebody may never come. And the best thing you can do for yourself is to understand that yes, somebody should have been there. Yes, somebody should have been there to help you to grow, but you have a decision to make. The pain that you feel is real. The pain that you feel from your past is valid, but what are you going to do with it? We see constantly stories of people who've gone through rough times and have turned that around into being amazing blessings and blessing in their lives. 
and we've seen others that have continued through a downward spiral into drugs, into alcoholism, into you know crime, into whatever they can do uh, to try to you know excuse away the injustice that has happened to them in their lives. You can make a decision to live a better life. You can make a decision to find redemption in your life even now. The other thing that I am really grieved about is the fact that I hear time and time again that people need more, that, that states need more foster parents. My experience has been that parents and people want to be able to foster the children. They want to, but the paperwork and the complexities and the nuances and even the corruption in some states have caused many children to lose the opportunity of a family. And I've heard stories of people being turned away from foster care simply because they have a dog dish in their kitchen. Many states will not allow people to foster or foster to adopt because they have more than four or five children in their family, even though they're much more experienced parents than, than some people who have never parented one child, they get overlooked. So I'm tired of hearing that, okay, there's ton, there, there isn't enough foster parents. From my experience and in my network, there are so many people who would adopt a teen, so many people who would adopt, um, you know, children of different races, so many people who will adopt the children that, are, that have special needs, but we, but we are limited and we are cut back and cut down before we even put our name on an application due to certain criteria that in my opinion is just BS. So I don't know really what I'm getting at, but I want to make sure that my friends and there are so many of you who have supported my channel and have supported my children and have loved us dearly. I want you to know that we love you back. I want you to know that we feel what you're feeling. And I want you to know that you can count on us and being your virtual family. We cannot adopt all currently 20, 30,000 of you, however many regular subscribers we have. But I want you to know that you may not see us all the time because we're busy parenting and, and living our lives but you mean so much to us and we are here for you and we we will pray and we will advocate in the best way that we can and in addition we will try to raise awareness for other parents and other people to step forward and try to make a difference in the system so that you don't get screwed in the process and this this is for kids in the US and it's for kids like my dear friend Maria who just wrote me this week who is convinced that nobody would ever want to adopt a teen. Well, that's not true. But oftentimes we are limited because we may want to and we can't. So Maria, let us be your virtual family. Um, let me put out some other names. Aaliyah, who we wanted to pursue years ago in foster care. And all you wanted was for somebody to be your regular family when you went to your senior prom and everybody was limited from adopting you and so you never got that dream. And to Jonathan and to Megan and to all of the people who email me, text me, reach out to me, read my blog, follow us on Facebook. We love you. We know that it's messed up, but please don't use this. Do whatever you can find counseling, seek within yourself, find mentors, go to church, do what you can to really find purpose and meaning for that rough start in your life without a typical traditional family. There's still family out there for you, whether it's a group of friends, whether it's a community, and even if you've aged out, you can still be adopted as an adult. So anyhow, we love you and we really hope that you take this message to heart and continue to watch us on Parent and... Um, you know, uh, you deserve a virtual family and you can let us be that family for you. Blessings.